It feels like home, home, home. It feels like home, home, home. It feels like home. Hey there, welcome to Weldon Home. I'm Tanya and we have had a really busy day. This summer has just flown by and we are on to our first day of school. So in addition to school, I went out and picked all of our tomatoes and realized we were way behind on getting those. So I'm going to make a quick pasta sauce so that I can get dinner on for the fam. But um, basically what I have in the pot right now is just some Johnsonville sausage. I removed the casings from the sausage and then I like to break it up with my hands and I just put a whole bunch of water over the top and um, and then I cook it on a high heat and I go ahead and I add my diced onions into that. This is just such a quick meal. It's not gourmet at all but this is our go-to pasta and I make it all of the time and everyone loves it. So this is something that I just wanted to share with you for those weeknights that you feel like I have just got to get something on the table and I only have about 15 minutes. So that's about how long this one takes. So when you do an onion, I don't know, I know there's lots of mamas out there, but for you who are just beginning to cook, I always like to cut the onion in half this way. And then I come from the side and I do, I follow like a rainbow all the way around as I chop it up. I just go round and round. cutting around this way and then you're going to cut crosswise and that's how you get a nice fine slice of onion. And for my garlic you can see it looks a little strange. It's because it's been in the freezer and you can freeze garlic for a very long time and then use it when it's um, slightly thawed or you can even use it totally frozen and just put it in your garlic press. So I keep it on hand just like that. I don't usually get rid of it all because it loses some of the flavor. I'll just bring it back here to the stove. And at this point, I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil. I would say about one, two, three tablespoons of olive oil. Like I said, this is a double, a double batch, really, because I have so many tomatoes and also because I want to save some making pizza. One of my very favorite things. And when we make the pizza dough, I always make extra of that too because then there's something else that I like to make with the extra dough. So hopefully I'll just bring you along for the ride. So see how this got the onions all translucent? And they're just nice. They didn't get browned, but that way they don't have their strong, strong onion flavor. And these are just white onions, but typically I use Vidalia, which are my favorite, but they didn't have any at the store when I went, so I'm using white. So now I'm going to add all of my fresh tomatoes. I have a variety of heirlooms here, and I'll just put the whole thing in. Some of them are even a little bit green, it doesn't matter. Just whatever you pull off the vine, and give that a good stir, and get that going. Like I said, I don't even bother taking off the skins. This Bertoli olive oil and garlic is my cheater ingredient. It um, just makes it taste like you've been cooking it all day, but then the freshness of the homegrown tomatoes just makes it a lot lighter and just a lot more summery. So I'll go ahead and add this in. So now you can see it's boiling really pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and add this garlic in and then I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground pepper. And 
I would be remiss if I did not tell you Trader Joe's does not sponsor me, though I would love them to, but Trader Joe's Capellini is literally the only pasta that we use around here. It has such a better flavor, so I'm going to use a whole package of this from my family. We're a family of six, and we like a lot of pasta. So anyway, I hope that you give this a try. I hope that it's a blessing to your family and you use it on a busy weeknight, and let me know what you think.